Forza Crush asks, do you guys train your vocal cords before doing gigs and concerts? So I'm assuming, war like, what's your warm-up yeah, like? we all have uh, our, we've got tried and true vocal warms that we all do. We drink, today I've been drinking tea since I woke up in the morning. Um, there, you have to really take care of yourself if you're a vocalist on the road. There's all sorts of different types of warm-ups that work for people. Um, I love to summon demons. That's my number one go-to, just, yo. <laughs> you know, that kind of right. stuff is just really easy for me to summon demons. But then there's also the, the regular scales. Um, sometimes we get to get together with Lena and she has this awesome warm up that she does every day and has a lot of zzz and a lot of all these different things that warm up different parts of your throat. So as a screamer, it opens those up because one part of your throat isn't open. You're not going to be able to scream correctly. So it's fun being able to have you know, us, us gal pals out together because, okay. you know, we all respect each other so much as vocalists and we want to learn from each other and help build each other up. And I think that that is something that's so rare. <laughs> so 100%. Yeah. And so it's really cool to get together and work out, get together and do vocal warm ups, get together and, you know, talk about vegan food or whatever the case may be. You know, we're just out here with friends having a good time and, um, you know, I, I love learning some of her vocal techniques and we've always shared vocal techniques. So it's fun. It's cool. Is it kind of nice to have a package with more ladies on it than normal? You know, it's not a bunch of just dude fest out there. It's, you know, you're, you know, <laughs> it's three female, female fronted. And we know how much we love that word or that, uh, that phrase. Everybody. Well, <laughs> it's, you know, we've always had each other on the road, which I never really realized was such a gift. But when you think yeah. about it, you know, to be stuck, in a in an RV or a bus with all guys that don't understand everything that you're going through all the time would be definitely a different experience. So yeah. and, and it's just it's more it's better to have even more of us together. On See, the road we now. wouldn't be able to like fully answer that because like she said, we've always had each other. But what about you? Yeah, no, I I've been on tour with other um, bands with girls, but it's just I don't see that as, as a big difference i do see a difference of friendship here yeah yeah so this is for me the biggest thing for sure you know is having friends on tour yeah that's that's a huge plus so this tour like we i've we've said it before it's like the best friends yeah. tour because like us and stitched apart like we're all really close and and the respect level between all of us is super high um and that is i think something that's kind of rare because sometimes you go into a tour and you're meeting people for the very first time on the first date and you're kind of feeling each other out. Like, are they going to be cool? Like, do they like us? Like, you know, so um, so it, it's, it's definitely been a lot easier. And especially coming out of not touring for several years, I think this was the right move for all of us just yeah. to have a little bit of comfort here on the road together. 